remembered the insights, I used them more. She admitted, I'm reluctant to change, so I need to hear something new often enough that, at some point, it gets past my critical, distrusting mind, becomes more familiar, and touches my heart. Then it becomes a part of me. And that's what happened after I thought a lot about the story. But you can discover that for yourself, if you like. Do you really think a story can make that big a difference? Michael asked. I'm in a pretty tough spot right now. Anne replied. In that case, what do you have to lose? All I can tell you is that when I applied what I got out of the story, it had a big impact. Some people, she cautioned, get very little from the story, while others get a great deal. It's not the story. It's what you take away from it that is so powerful. And that's up to you, of course. Michael nodded. Okay. I think I would really like to hear it. So Anne started to tell the tale over dinner, and then continued through dessert and coffee. She began. The Story of Peaks and Valleys Chapter 1 Feeling low in a valley. Once there was a bright young man who lived unhappily in a valley, until he went to see an old man who lived on a peak. When he was younger, he had been happy in his valley. He played in its meadows and swam in its river. The valley was all he had ever known, and he thought he would spend his whole life there. Some days in his valley were cloudy, and some were sunny but there was a sameness to his daily routine that he found comforting. However, as he grew older, he began to see what was wrong more often than he noticed what was right. He wondered why he had not noticed before how many things were wrong in the valley. As time went on, the young man became increasingly unhappy, although he wasn't sure why. He tried working at different jobs in the valley, but none turned out to be what he had hoped for. In one job, his boss always seemed to criticize him for what he did wrong and never noticed all the things he did right. In another, he was one of so many employees that it didn't seem to matter to anyone whether he worked hard or hardly worked at all. His contribution seemed invisible, even to himself. Once, he thought he had finally found what he wanted. He felt appreciated and challenged. He worked with capable colleagues, and he was proud of the company's product. He worked his way up and became manager of a small department. Unfortunately, he felt his job was not secure. His personal life was no better. One disappointment seemed to follow another. He thought his friends didn't understand, and his family told him he was just going through a phase. The young man wondered if he would be better off someplace else. Sometimes the young man would stand in the meadow, and look up at the range of majestic peaks that rose high above his valley. He would imagine himself standing on the nearby peak. For a while, he felt better. But the more he compared the peak to his valley, the worse he felt. He spoke to his parents and friends about going to the peak, but they talked only about how difficult it was to reach the peak, and how comfortable it was to stay in the valley. They all discouraged him from going where they themselves had never been. The young man loved his parents and knew there was some truth to what they said. But he also knew that he was a different person from his father and mother. Sometimes he felt there might be a different way of life outside the valley, and he wanted to discover it for himself. Maybe on the peak he could gain a better view of the world. But then doubt and fear crept in again, and he thought he would stay where he was. For a long time the young man could not bring himself to leave his valley. Then one day... He recalled his early youth and realized how much had changed since then. He was no longer at peace with himself. He wasn't sure why he changed his mind, but he suddenly decided he had to go visit that mountaintop. He put his fear aside and got ready to leave as quickly as he could. Then he set out for the nearby peak. It was not an easy journey. It took him much longer than he thought it would take to make it less than halfway up the peak. But as the young man went higher, the cool breeze and fresh air revitalized him. From higher up, his valley...